Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop uh, Code Hunt. Uh, this is Sven speaking and today we're starting with sector 7, the second string sector. There are 10 tasks to solve and we're going to jump right into solving the first task. Whatever we get here. We have three strings as inputs, one, two and three, and we're supposed to return a string as output. Apparently, um, the default implementation is not right, so we have A's, B's and A's, and we're supposed to return B, A, 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 B, so every character is doubled, and this is not what we're currently doing because we only append one and three but from what I see, sorry for that, um, I have B, then I have, or one, then I have, no, I have two, sorry, two, and then I have maybe one, and three, and then again one, and three, and two, which could be one solution, but it's apparently not the right solution yet, so I messed up probably messed up the order. Um, not too far away from the truth actually I guess. So 2 has to be on the outside otherwise this wouldn't work. So I have the 3 A's here and then I have 2 A's and a B which means I have the 3 and then I have the 1. So I just flip these 3 and one, and then I have um, directly an AB, which is the one, and then the three again, which is one A, and then the three A's from the two. So this should be the right order of things, and indeed it captures the code fragment and gives us the full skill rating. Let's continue. Next task, I'm getting one string as input and we're supposed to return one string as output and actually I'm getting in a character a string of five A's I'm supposed to return a string of two A's so since substring already helped, helped a lot in the last uh, sector it may just be a substring of the first two characters Probably not, but okay. If I get in a string of six, then I'm supposed to return a string of three. So the length of the string I'm returning is proportional to the length of the string I get as input. So it's something like string length divided by two because it rounds down 2.5 is two, and three is three, of course. So this might be it. And actually this already captures the code and it gives us the full skill writing. So let's continue. Again we're getting in three strings as an input and we're supposed to return one string. And from what I see here is we get a string as input and we're supposed to return something of the same length as output but apparently there are some characters replaced so my guess would be that I should take the input string A and replace every occurrence of the input string B by the input uh, by, or the character B by the character C which would replace all the A's in, by I's in this case but re replace nothing in this case so we return the input string A um, so it's replace B, C. I think the method works that way and indeed it does and my guess was right so we're in a killing spree. Let's see next task. We get in a string and we're supposed to return a string. For an A we're supposed to return an A. For an A A we're supposed to return A A. For C B we're supposed to return B C. So this is again a case where I have to invert the string because for the A's it's of course 
the inverse is the same as the original. So I'm going to try to implement this with a loop again just to see if it works. Um, I'm curious to see if I can get the full skill rating out of this. I, as, as you might remember, I failed to do this the last time. Char C S dot to char array and s reversed equals c plus s reversed and then return s reversed so this probably solves um, the task question is does it give us the full skill rating I just realized that there is a hint up here that says try to solve this problem using only string methods but I'm only using string methods. Um, I'm only using to char array, which is a string method. But actually, um, this does not solve the problem to the satisfaction of the code hunt compiler. So let's see. Apparently, he's not quite happy with my solution yet. Um, Especially, I'm not sure what he wants to tell us by using only string methods. Maybe this is a comment with having C sharp in mind. Um, but let's check Java string, not Java string reverse, only Java string. Um, let's see, maybe there is a method I just forget about that will help us. Um, to go into the right direction we have the constructors that can do this from by the way arrays and string arrays with any offsets and counts and whatever but they will not help us to turn around um, to turn around the value or the, the characters in the string we have of course the char add methods to access stuff we can concatenate we can check for containing we could copy values parts of it we can check the end equals equals ignore case we can format the string but I don't think there's a format specifier that would turn around the string we can get the bytes we can get the chars we can get the hash code we can get index of any characters or substrings we can check for is empty um, by the way the is empty was a, a bug in code and I found before I got reply in the meantime from the developers that they will change this but as far as I know they didn't change it yet so as soon as I recognize they changed uh, the Java is empty to functional mapping uh, in C sharp. I will inform you. Um, we have last index of, we have a length, we can match by regular expressions. Um, we have region matches, we have replaces, replace all, we have splits. We have starts with check subsequences, substring to char array to lowercase to string to uppercase we can trim and we have a value of the static converters from the other primitive values so I currently don't see any method on string that would help us uh, do this conversion so maybe let's uh, try to solve this again with, uh, uh, with the help of link using system link in on the C sharp side I'm pretty sure we can shorten down this expression say new string s dot I think I can revert use reverse immediately here because string is already already an enumeration of characters and then I only need the two array here in the end with invocation and this should give us, of course, string is written in lowercase here, but this should solve the task and gives us a full skill rating, even though I would 
yeah, we could argue about whether the reverse function from link which is implemented on enumerations is actually a string method so anyways I solved the task and let's continue by switching back to Java um, which did not work another bug I already reported to Microsoft but didn't get a reply yet okay let's see this time we are on the Java side again and we have two input strings and supposed to return one output string sounds familiar and okay what are we supposed to do here the string we give as an output has the same length as the input string and but actu actually it looks like uh, we have alternating alternating selections so like the first character from the second string the second character from the first string the third from the second this would at least match the two test examples we have here so what we could do is say we have a string output which is the empty string and we loop over int i equals zero i smaller than a dot length i plus plus and then to output we append in the case of i modulo 2 equals 0 we append so for 0 we want to have the um, the second so it's b dot char at i and in the other case it's a dot char at i we want to append then we return of course the output let's see whether that solved the task and let's see what the code hunt tool thinks about the quality of our code it's not really nicely readable uh, especially with that ternary operator in there but again I'm not really sure this is kind of a zipping between the two characters oh that's a surprise so uh, after after the the tool being so strict about the solutions in the last task I did not really expect it to uh, accept the solution but it did and it gave us a full skill rating so I'm just going to be content with it and uh, continue on to the next task again we get in one string and we're supposed to return another string and in fact it just looks like we're supposed to return uh, to to remove all the spaces in here so maybe we could just get the easy way around this and replace space by nothing I think that should be possible and in fact it is possible nice um, having a eye at the, at the time uh, I think it's a good point to stop this episode for the uh, second Sector 7 episode not to become too short uh, because there's only four tasks left so I'm going to finish here uh, thanks for watching if you like this episode uh, please uh, consider to subscribe to my channel or of course like it if you have any feedback or comments just uh, yes drop me a comment below the video let me know what you think uh, I can certainly improve by all the feedback you give me uh, you can also follow me on Twitter or have a look at the other contents I'm producing, for example, the Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse or the Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life about test-driven development and a general coding style. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you next time. Bye!